Hey guys, it's Mark from Modern Tech and today I'm going to show you my top 5 games which I enjoyed playing on the Steam Deck. Now starting at 5th place is a newly released remake of a PSP childhood classic, Final Fantasy Crisis Core Reunion. Crisis Core Reunion is a JRPG with a surprisingly satisfying combat system. With the original game made back in 2007 exclusively to PlayStation Portable, which makes playing this game portably on the Steam Deck comfortably desirable. With the short side mission list makes the game very easy to pick up and play for a short period of time or for longer periods if you dive into the captivating story. I won't dive too much into the main story of this game as I've already done a full review on this game. I will leave that in the description below if anybody is interested. But what you need to know is the action combat and leveling system is very addictive which makes this game really difficult to put down. I could have been playing this game on my high end PC getting the most out of the graphics but I chose to play it completely exclusively on the Steam Deck because to me playing this game portable just seems right. In 4th place this game really got me into the festive spirit right before Christmas and that is Dead Rising 4. And I know Dead Rising 4 doesn't have the most positive reviews from people and it is a very mixed opinionated game. However I find the story very fun and there is lots to explore in this huge world. The game starts off with a zombie outbreak in starting on the opening day of a huge shopping mall on Black Friday. Shopping malls in the Christmas period traditionally are always heavily decorated but there's something just magical about a heavily decorated new shopping mall filled with bloodthirsty brainless zombies craving to be killed in many different hilarious gruesome ways. Dead Rising 4 isn't just restricted to the shopping mall and it has a very decent open sized world map filled with infected and psychopathic survivors who have lost their minds. A personal favourite part of mine was rather early on where you go into Santa's grotto to fight against Father Christmas and his army of elves. Now I know we've passed Christmas but if that doesn't get you in the Christmas spirit again I don't know what will. Now before we go any further I'd like to ask if you can hit the like button and subscribe to this channel as a small content creator it really really does help and it helps in algorithms and it helps more people actually see this video so please if you're enjoying this video hit the like button. And in third place is a game that I am still currently playing. I've also recently done a review on this game but I will leave that in the description and this game is One Piece Odyssey. Now One Piece Odyssey is an anime JRPG based on the popular anime and manga series and it actually does a brilliant job at playing a perfect tribute to the manga story. Leveling up, progressing through the story and having multiple save points scattered around this map really make this game perfect to play on the deck. The scenery of this game is also incredibly beautiful, even with the 800p screen the colours still really pop. As this game is a turn based game I also occasionally play it on dock mode and I really don't know is any difference at all, if anything it looks so much better on my 4k TV. The same goes with the Crisis Core, I won't dive into the story because I've done a review and that is in the description below, if you wanted to see that go and check that out. Just before we hit the games that are in first and second place, I'd like to give a quick honourable mention to a game which shouldn't be on the list, so I've not put it on the list, but I deserve to actually mention this game because I've spent a lot of hours playing it on the Steam Deck. Now this game is an emulated game and this can be emulated on the PlayStation 2 emulator and the GameCube emulator. This game is Lord of the Rings Return of the King. Now I grew up with this game and this is one of the best games that I have ever played so being able to play it handheld is just absolutely phenomenal. The timeless classic Return of the King follows the adventures of the third film playing as different characters from the iconic Fellowship. The arcade style combat with a wide array of unlockable moves and characters makes this game really fun to keep playing and very rewarding. If you haven't had a chance to play this game I strongly advise that you give it a shot, if you are a fan of the Lord of the Rings you will not be disappointed. Coming up in second place was my personal favourite bargain of the century and that is Need for Speed Heat. I actually picked this game up on a Steam sale for only £3 and invested so many hours into it. I've personally 
not been a fan of the Need for Speed games for many, many years now, but this feels like a massive improvement to my favourite game in the series, which was Underground 2. Need for Speed Heat has a large map with races scattered all over, and you need both money and reputation to make a name for yourself in these streets. Money can be used to purchase and upgrade your car, while as reputation can be used to level up and unlock more. The game also features a day and night mode, where money can be earned in the day and rep can be earned at the night. Police officers are particularly aggressive at night and you will lose all your current rep that you gained on that night if you are caught, so this makes escaping feel all that more fulfilling. In first place is the first game that I ever installed on the Steam Deck and that is Sleeping Dogs. I have always loved this game ever since its release on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 back in 2012 and I have played through the story multiple times. I completed this game first on the Xbox 360 and then the enhanced version on the Xbox One. And now I get to relive everything all over again, portably on the Steam Deck. This game is open world based in Hong Kong with an incredibly satisfying combat system. Playing as an undercover cop who infiltrates the ranks of the triads makes this immersive, morally conflicted story once again such a pleasure to play. If you have not yet played Sleeping Dogs, some people have never actually heard of this game, then the most common and accurate description of this game you will get is this game is Grand Theft Auto Hong Kong with martial arts. I mean, from a sentence, what more can you actually want? Exploring the different cultures from the marketplaces and seeing the food sellers on the streets is just purely fascinating. I'm actually thinking of making a video based solely on this game just as a big love letter from me because I absolutely love it. As weird as that sounds, if anybody would like to see that, please let me know in the comments below. Now if you enjoyed this video, please consider a like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what games you have been playing on your Steam Deck. Smart from Modern Tech, thanks for watching.